Hey guys, uh, in this episode I thought we would have a look at the software that's going to run my AV switch. I uh, talked a bit last time about um, how I'm going to use the uh, Atmega 328 chip uh, to choose between the inputs. Well, I'm going to have a bit more of a practical look at um, how it's going to work. So, uh, here we go. The GPIO pins from Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi down here are uh, connected to GERT board yeah, and I have the uh, SPI pins from Raspberry Pi patched in to the in-system programming pins over here of the uh, Atmega chip. I have an LCD screen plugged into some of the digital pins on the Atmega and I have the first three LEDs there patched into the digital pins of the Atmega. Obviously uh, 12 inputs is a bit more than 3, but uh, this will serve for demonstration. Before I uh, show you the stuff in operation, maybe we'll just have a quick look at uh, the code and um, how I've designed it to work. So uh, because I'm using the uh, Raspberry Pi to program the uh, Atmega, um, I just run the Arduino IDE actually on Raspberry Pi. So connect to it zoom in so you can see it a bit better well <clears throat> I'm not going to sit here and explain uh, every line of the code but um, I'll put a, a listing up um, link it in the description of the video and uh, go have a look at it, criticize it, call me out on my crappy C programming. <laughs> I, uh, I write VB.net um, in my job, so sort of had to learn a bit of this on the fly. Anyhow, um, so essentially what we do is we set up the, uh, the LCD. Um, we turn on debugging if I've set a debugging flag. Um, set the modes of all the pins and then go into the program. Once we're in the main loop, the program loops around here in this control to the loop here, waiting for a button press. Uh, once it receives a button press, uh, it breaks out of the loop um, and sets a time period, which is, um, I've got it set two seconds in the future. Um, and if nothing else happens within that two seconds, then it'll go up to the next uh, input. While it's, while it's waiting for that two seconds, if it detects another button push, it'll scroll to the next input or the previous input, uh, and then it'll extend that delay by another two seconds, and so on and so on and so on. Um, there's a bit of code in there to make it scroll through the items if you hold the button down, which is kind of neat. Uh, but yeah, pretty simple. Um, and finally, once we've decided which input we're going to go to, we change the contents of the screen, set the input, and away we go. So, uh, yeah, it's not too complicated. Uh, as I said, I'll post up the code listing so that you can have a look at it. And uh, let's get into how it's working. Okay, let's uh, have a look at the unit in action. So here's the uh, lovely LCD display. Let's turn it off and turn it back on. Probably saw that little uh, message there, welcome to blah blah blah. So, here's our little uh, rocker switch button, and as you can see, the first LED is off and the next two are on. If we uh, go up to the next input, you can see they're all on, and then the second one goes off. Remembering that um, because the bus switches are input low, when the LED is off, the switch is active. So, go down, blanks the screen, and then after the time expires, the LED goes off. That's all there is to it, really. So I can go up to other 
consoles, but I don't have LEDs hooked up for those on this board, so there you have it. If I hold the button down, it starts flicking through and probably a little bit fast actually, but uh, it's the beauty of using a microcontroller is that I can just change it whenever I want. In the final product, I'm going to be using a bigger display so I can fit more information on there. I'll be using a 20 by 4. This is a 16 by 2. And that's it. So, a uh, short episode today. Um, sorry for the delays here. It's been um, actually pretty, um, pretty crazy. I do work full time, and that has put a fairly sizable dent into time that I get to spend uh, building this and making videos and stuff so apologies for the delay um, and hopefully there will be more on this very soon I um, <clears throat> also wanted to uh, just give a huge thank you to everybody who has subscribed if I uh, have a quick look now as I'm filming this there were well, I can see that there are 65 subscribers and that's that's a lot that's 65 more than I thought I'd ever get so uh, thank you a lot if I didn't have so many probably would have given up uh, quite a while ago so thank you thank you all very much and uh, that's it for me and I will uh, see you next time hopefully with a slightly more complete product to show off for you. See you then.